Good morning everyone, this is Waterfall Joe and welcome back to another video. Today I'm at Wadsworth Falls State Park here in Connecticut. And this is one of my favorite local waterfalls in all of Connecticut. We just got a ton of rain. It's been, it snowed last week and it all melted. So this thing is roaring, let's go check it out. All right, so it's been raining pretty good, but I think it's almost done, so we're gonna take this away for now. Check this out. So I brought my waders, I got brand new waders. I've never even tried these on before. I'm actually gonna go out here into the water, and uh, I wanna get some shots from out there where it's all flowy and everything. But um, yeah, this is great. It's the end of February, and it's about 50 degrees right now. So everything is thawing, everything is melting. The waterfalls are flowing incredible, and uh, this is amazing today. I love this park, and the point of this video is I, I kind of wanted to just point out that you don't have to go very far to see great things. I'm fortunate enough to have this beautiful waterfall about 25 minutes from my house, but I encourage you just to check out what's in your neighborhood, see what's around you. Maybe you have something incredible you've never seen before. So I'm set up here in the water. I got my camera and we got the waterfall up there. And I'm really going for like these silky lines here leading up to the waterfall. I think that'll be awesome. The waders are doing really good. I'm sure the water is really cold, but I don't feel anything. <laughs> So I'm currently at 1.6 of a second F71 at ISO 125. Actually, let's drop that to ISO 100. And let's just, when we take the shot, I'm getting some of that silkiness I was looking for right there. Got my camera equipment hiding underneath the umbrella over there because I forgot my rain jacket for my, my camera bag and I don't want it to get drenched. You know one of the best things about visiting a waterfall on a rainy Wednesday? No one else is here. I got this place all to myself. All right, so I've actually worked back a little bit. I'm much further back now. But I'm really enjoying this composition here. I got my camera set up, and I'm really liking the wet rock with the boss on it right there, leading up to the waterfall. Let me show you what I got on my Z6 II. So check that shot out. Actually, let's take the shot and see. So as a landscape guy, one of my favorite things is leading lines. I absolutely love having something leading up to the main subject. So if we can get this rock right here to lead up our eyes up to the main waterfall, then I think it's going to be a good shot. If it turned out, and I'm happy with it, you'll see it right here. If not, sorry, I guess I need to do better next time. I'm just having so much fun out here. You know, I'm trying to be a little bit more fun and not as uh, serious about my vlogs, because really, this is just for fun. We're out there here doing this for fun, just having a good time. 
it's a great waterfall. It's a great day to be out here. I wish, of course, that there was a little bit more greenery because everything is um, it's pretty dead and sad right now. We do have some evergreens up here. Only a few more weeks or maybe even a few more months until everything starts to bloom and turn green. I'm actually going to be teaching a waterfall photography workshop here at Wadsworth Falls in about two months. Uh, it's going to be through the MilfordPhoto.com, Milford Photo camera store, and I'm hoping we get a good turnout. I've actually done it before, and I had about 15 people show up, but this time I'm, I'm going to have two sessions, a morning and an afternoon. So once I get it finalized, I'll actually share it with you guys here in a video. But if you ever want to learn how to, how to shoot waterfalls and you're here in Connecticut, I'd be happy to teach you if you want to come along and check it out, especially here at this incredible Wadsworth Falls. I'm actually trying to, let's show you here. I'm actually trying to put the waterfall on the right side with some leading lines leading up to it. So you see I got one main section here, a center, and then some negative space to kind of draw your eye up to the waterfall. There's a lot of water. Man, I love Connecticut, man. It's so beautiful here. secret for you guys. Here at Wadsworth Falls State Park, there's actually two incredible waterfalls and I've only shown you one. So we're actually hiking right now to the next waterfall, which is conveniently called Wadsworth Little Falls. Now, I've seen a lot of waterfalls. This next waterfall, assuming it's flowing, it is unfortunately very rain dependent. Uh, we've had a lot of rain, so it should be okay. But um, I've seen a lot of waterfalls. This one is not little by any means, but because the main waterfall is so massive, this one looks like a little baby compared to that. So we're heading there right now. It's about 15, 20 minute walk. I've actually switched into my normal hiking boots because I am not wearing waders while hiking. Go away to get a blister. The ground is extremely muddy. So I have a good feeling about this one here in the woods. All right, so while I hike, I have a question for you. What is the largest waterfall you've been to? Whether it's in your home state, whether it's Niagara Falls, I'm so curious. As a waterfall enthusiast myself, there's many that I would love to visit. Angel Falls in Venezuela, I think it's Venezuela. Angel Falls is my favorite. I'd love to go there one day. Of course, for those who don't know, Angel Falls is the tallest waterfall in the world at well over 3,000 feet tall. But for you guys, what's your favorite you've been to? What's the biggest, most impressive, or maybe what's, maybe not the biggest, but still your favorite? For me, it's a tough one to pick. Connecticut is full of so many, but I have to give it to the Pacific Northwest, Oregon and Washington. They have some incredible waterfalls, especially the Columbia River Gorge. If you can get to the Columbia River Gorge, talk about waterfall heaven. Ooh, sorry, I'm out of breath. Walking up a hill. Panther Creek Falls in Washington. I believe it's called Wise and Danger Falls, which is above Multnomah. All of them are so incredible.
All right, great news. It's here and it is flowing. I just gotta get down this steep hill and try not to die on the process. Here we are, Wadsworth Little Falls. There's nothing little about this. This is beautiful. Of course, because the other waterfall is a river, this one's of course gonna be small because it's not even a creek. This is just a, a waterfall. So yeah, this place is absolutely stunning. I'm gonna get the Z62 out and I'm gonna start taking some photos. Let's, let's check it out. So my polarizer has completely fogged up. So I had to take it off. We'll put that in my pocket for now. But I've got the Z set up here, and we're actually shooting a really cool shot of Wadsworth Little Falls here. Let me show you the composition. So I've got the waterfall and the creek, or the creek leading up to the waterfall here. I wish I had my polarizer on to clean up the glare, but we just gotta work with what we have right now. So I'm using my Z62 and I'm using the Nikon 17 to 28 millimeter. I've got the hood on to help keep the raindrops off and I'm using a polarizer and a three stop ND filter to help, to help smooth out that waterfall a little bit. I gotta say, this is pretty sweet, man. So here, let's take the shot and see how it looks. Of course, using the L bracket, gotta use the L bracket. So what we gotta do is we have to actually spin the polarizer and you can see on the screen there, as I spin it, it reduces that glare. And of course, let's do the two second timer. And let's take the shot. The waterfall is a little bit blown out. So we're gonna adjust shutter speed a little bit, but this, this is cool. This is really fun. All right, if you shoot landscapes, you know the struggle of having to put your tripod in such a strange position sometimes. I'm, you know, worried about the camera falling off into the creek or something, but yeah, it's, it's there, it's sturdy. <laughs> this is one of my favorite things about exploring and being a landscape photographer is just coming out to places that maybe you haven't been before or maybe are close and you don't go enough. But just exploring, like I said earlier, this is only 20 minutes from my house, and I'm extremely uh, fortunate to have such a beautiful waterfall so close. But I, I recommend you know seeing what's in your area, just going out and checking it out. Uh, you know, I'm originally from Missouri and St. Louis, and we didn't really have these kind of waterfalls there, so I would have to go out for a few hours and go out exploring in southern Missouri and just, or even southern Illinois, and just hoping to find something cool. So, but had I not explored, who knows what I would have found. So I recommend to you just go out and see what's around. All right, just got back to my car after the hike. What a great day here at the waterfalls, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you're in Connecticut, you should definitely come check out Wadsworth Falls State Park. Both the big waterfall and the small waterfall are worth your time. And if you're not in Connecticut, I encourage you just to go check out what's around you. You know, venture 20, 30 minutes out, see what you can find. You never know. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Thank you.